914 right now. And in less than three months, we will find out if President Donald Trump will continue to call the White House home or if the White House will welcome a new first family. And, you know, a lot can happen between now and Election Day, where I think we're down to like 88 days. But one local historian is ready to make his 2020 presidential prediction. And his prediction carries a lot of weight because he has correctly called every White House race since 1984 including President Donald Trump's 2016 victory. We're talking about American University professor Alan Lichtman, who uh, uses a series of keys to pick the winner of the White House. And uh, Professor Lichtman joins us this morning to talk all about it. Thank you so much for joining us. It really, it really sure, is good. always a treat to talk with you. All right. Now, you know, they, they want me to ask right away your prediction, but I'm going to uh, make the viewers wait a little bit. And I'm going to ask you how you come up with this. It's a 13 uh, point checklist, right? That's correct. I have 13 key factors. And the basic thesis behind the 13 keys is this, that f you should forget the polls, forget the pundits. Don't look at the day to day events of the campaign. Keep your eye on the big picture. And that is American presidential elections are essentially votes up or down on the strength and performance of the party holding the White House. And that's what the keys gauge. They look at big picture things like uh, third parties, midterm election results, long and short term economy, scandal, social unrest, policy change foreign policy successes and failures. So you actually were one of um, only a few to correctly predict that uh, President Trump would take the White House um, during the last election. That's correct. Uh, what I was able to discern based on my 13 keys is this. If there are six or more negative keys out against the party holding the White House, then their strength and performance is weak enough that it's going to be a change election. And I determined that 2016 mm -hmm. was going to be a change election, that in fact any generic Republican was going to win that election. So I predicted Donald Trump. And by the way, right here in my study, I have this note which says, uh, Professor, congrats, good call, and in big Sharpie letters signed, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> okay, which has been the hardest so far for you to predict? 2016 was extremely difficult election to predict. Sometimes I can predict years ahead of time because the keys fall into place. I predicted the hard right. to call 2010 election, 2012 election in 2010, but I didn't get a final bead on 2016 until my Washington Post interview until September. This one is not that hard, but we had the biggest election year change in the history of the country. Okay, let's get into it. Who do you predict will take the White House this go around in 2020? Remember, six keys or more and you're out. Donald Trump was cruising to re-election in 2019 with only four keys against him. Then he made a fundamental mistake. He didn't understand the keys, although he knew they predicted his win. It's governing, not campaigning, that counts. And rather than dealing with the crisis facing the country, he thought he could talk his way out of it. And the result is three more down keys. The short-term economy, because we're in a recession. The long-term economy, because of the wrenching negative effects on growth this year. And, of course, widespread social unrest. That transforms his situation from four keys down and a win to seven keys down and now a predicted loss for Donald Trump in November. Wow, Professor Lickman. So with your keys, are we too close to the election for the sitting president to turn it around? He can't turn it around because he thinks he can talk his way out of anything. He failed his chance to forestall the loss of these keys by actually substantively dealing with problems rather than trying to gaslight the country. The keys, remember, are the big picture. They don't change by what anyone says. But there are two things that keep me up at night that are outside the realm of the keys or any prediction system. One is voter suppression. Donald Trump and his enablers are working as hard as possible 
to keep the Democratic base of minorities and young people from voting. You know, they depend on older white voters, the most shrinking part of the electorate. They can't manufacture more old white men like me, but they can try to suppress the Democratic base. And secondly, of course, is Russian intervention. We know they're going to be back, and we know again Donald Trump is going to welcome it and exploit it to the hilt. We just don't know exactly what form it's going to take and how effective it's going to be. All right, there it is. Professor Alan Lickman predicting that uh, Joe Biden will take the White House in 88 days. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure again. Same here. Take care.